That's a little bit more like it. I mean, when you're cruising 30 points, you can start playing that song with a couple minutes to go as we welcome you here to Sixers Post Game Live, brought to you by Cure Auto Insurance, Amy Fiddle alongside the coach Jim Lineham and our big man, Mark Jackson. And gentlemen, I mean, they were cruising in this one. They really did not let up. And Mark, that's what you wanted to see from a team that had been struggling to close out games. Absolutely. I wanted to see this team put the uh, foot on the pedal from beginning to the end of the game. They did an extraordinary job defensively. This team, the 76ers, is one of the worst in the league were, were capitalizing off of forcing teams' turnovers. They was in the bottom five of points off of points off of turnovers. In the first half alone, they got 16 off of 10. This team should be making a change in the right direction, negative, uh, positive-wise, when it comes to defense. Tonight, they did an excellent job finishing the game, which they've been struggling at. And offensively, 122 points. They mm. really put up and they capitalized on everything that the Hawks yes. didn't do, right, Jim? Yeah, they did. And there's, as Mark just uh, said, their defense aim, when, when it's as good as that, in other words, you're stopping them in the half court, so you're getting stops, which gives you a chance to fast break. But on top of that, they were turning them over mm. all night long and running off the turnover. So that really made the offense, like, uh, I won't say easy, but it gets you off to a great start when you're able to play open floor because the defense is not set by the Atlanta Hawks, and you have an advantage time after time. It was a, a fun one to watch start to finish. Also fun to watch this guy, a double-double, Tobias Harris. Mm. Here he is with Al Abdenabi and Tom McGinnis. Tobias, great game, double-double for you, and a tremendous overall defensive effort against the Hawks. Your thoughts in general after this one? You know, we wanted to come into this game just with that energy. Uh, you know, we know what uh, this team, you know, eliminated us last year. So it was a collective effort. We wanted to have the energy. We wanted to have the excitement. Uh, I thought tonight defensively we came out with just that mindset and was able to run from there. No doubt about it. You guys had that early 15 zip run and you took yep. off from there that had to feel good to jump out in front like that. Yeah, and you know, honestly, that, that run was stemmed just through our, our defensive play, so we was able to get out in transition. Uh, I thought tonight in the half court we really moved the ball from side to side, but, you know, it was our defensive effort from starters to the guys who came off the bench that uplifted us and was able to extend that lead uh, all the way through the second half. So, you know, it was a great win for us. Personally, Tobias, talk to me about your individual game. We've seen different layers, the post-ups, the ball handling, the passing. But are you still most comfortable when you're on the move? Because to the observer, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you know, on the move for me is uh, where I create, uh, you know, most of my mismatches on the floor. So, uh, you know, once that ball is hopping around, moving, I'm able to get out in transition uh, with the rock and get into some pick and rolls. That just opens up the whole floor for me. So, you know, just staying confident through it all, growing game by game, uh, you know, kind of like as a group, we're all trying to figure it out. But today was a good game for us to build all that confidence. Lastly, Tobias, this sort of like last year where you're winning games and yet you still have room for improvement and you're still putting it all together. Your thought there? Well, it's still early. I mean, for us as a group, um, every game, you know, we know there's areas we can get better at. So we just got to keep grinding, stay together, keep the vibe high, and just keep letting it flow. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. See you. Congratulations. 22 points, 11 boards for Tobias Harris. You heard him there with these guys. It is the crossover brought to you by Cisco WebEx. And gentlemen, I mean, we talked about it. And Tom, you mentioned it. The 15-0 run to open this thing up. And they never look back. Something we hadn't seen. I know it's early, but not really this season. How good was it to see this team not only close it out, but really keep their foot on that gas pedal? Well, no doubt about it. And obviously, Ala, you know it's so much easier to play with the lead you get your confidence going the second unit played well i thought jake milton made a big impact again maxi late big third quarter by seth curry and you know coach and mark talked about the defense without question and we talked about that throughout the course of the game but one of the things that Allah and i touched on early was balance scoring it for the second straight game they put six guys, they had five guys in double figures against Detroit, six guys tonight, so it was spread around a lot of different people contributing. Absolutely, and when you talk about the balance, the depth, and you add to that the bad taste in your mouth that you've had for about four months now, and you're trying to get that out of your mouth and move forward with a positive effort and a positive display and a performance, that was what tonight was. So now the 76ers hopefully can just go back to playing basketball <laughs> and improving, whether it's through wins or losses. 
Well, and I've got to ask you about the gentleman you guys just interviewed, Tobias Harris. I mean, what a game from him. He's always solid, but 22 and 11, he had four assists as well. But he mentioned the defense. I mean, to see him get going, that's something the that Sixers really need, especially in a tough stretch coming up. I, I think he's been a tremendous leader, certainly off the floor and with this group. And now he's doing it in different ways, right? They know they need him on the, the glass. He's stepped up as a rebounder. He's handling the ball better. And tonight, I thought he did a decent job defensive. I and mean, you could mm -hmm. see the effort trying to cut these guys off. Yeah, and what you saw, too, was him going up against some bigger guys at times. And you would think being outsized, but he'd be able to read the situations, pull them out, take them off the dribble, realizing what's in front of him and what advantages he has to work with. He's a versatile guy, and it was nice to see him be aware and then execute. Absolutely. Gentlemen, thanks as always. Happy Halloween to you. Same we'll both to you. see and hear you on Monday. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good night. All right. It is Halloween tomorrow. Mischief night, as we talked about, but it was only treats really for the Sixers. And Tobias Harris, you know, Jim, you've always liked his game. Even when he was struggling in that the season after he got the big contract, you knew that this guy could play and what he was able to provide. It was nice to see him be able to do that and be rewarded for it. 22 points, 11 boards. Yeah, and right now, Aim, uh, I think it's fair to say he's your second leading scorer. I mean, yes, he is, but that's what you need from yeah. him night after night, and he's delivering. And we just heard Ala uh, describing the way Tobias gets his buckets, a variety of things that this guy does. And as a result of that, I think that is one of the main reasons that he's so consistent. We're going to hear from Doc Rivers coming up momentarily. But, Mark, you talked about this as well with Tobias. I mean, he's a guy that does the little things for you, doesn't always get rewarded because he's not a flashy guy. But to see what he's able to do, and you like him because he think, you think any given night he's a 20-point scorer. Yeah. I like Tobias. I've always liked Tobias. Why? Because his, his flow to the game is always within the system. You can count on, if you run your plays, extra plays, he's really going to break them. Now, some people see it as a positive and a negative. But I like that this season and last, the end of last season, how he started to kind of divert from the plays and then be more aggressive. That's something we constantly need to see in him. I really believe this team needs him to force double teams. Mm -hmm. We know Joel's going to force him. We know Ben when he gets down uh, downhill. But we need to buy us for double teams. Why? Because the Sixers have added shooters, and they'll help them get off. Them shooters get off is more one-on-one -on -one play for Tobias, Joel, and Ben. Yeah, if he shoots like he did tonight, he will draw those double Absolutely. teams, shooting about 50% and 22 points. All right, well, we've all been talking about the defense. You know what they say, defense wins championships. Well, it certainly won the game tonight. It is the subject of our Colonial Nissan Game Changer stifling defense. Six blocks, 11 steals, 19 turnovers for the Hawks. I mean, Jim, this is exactly what you see. They were so active, especially in the passing lanes, like you see. They were, but I'm going to tell you, Aim, heading that list, uh, as he often does, Matisse Thibel. Ooh, uh, blocks here. are. Yeah, you just, uh, he was all over the court. He, I think he had four steals, three blocks, two of which were sensational. And you don't even see the deflections in here. Yeah, exactly. Right here, one of those blocks. You Ooh. see, I mean, he just came from, what, 10 feet off the play and took a jumper out of midair. And watch this one. He, he's so good at pursuing, like, the pick knocks you off the play. He continues to pursue the ball, and from behind, they call it now rear view defense. They have a name for it, and he really is really very, very good when he does that. And no surprise, Tyrese Maxey and Matisse were on uh, Trey Young, and it really bothered him. The thing with Matisse, Mark, is he just disrupts so much. Even if it doesn't show up in the stat line, he just his hands, you just have to be aware of him when he's on the court. His instincts are unmatched, Amy. And Coach that. said a word that's very important. His pursuit. A lot of times when players get hit off of picks, they kind of slow down and don't fight to recover. His pursuit, which means once he gets hit, he fights like the Dickens mm -hmm. to really get through that screen and to get over that screen and contest the shot. That's a lot of things a lot of young players do not do well. But Matisse does it better than anyone. And you think you're open, all of a sudden, yes. <laughs> you got a shot of it. He comes from, from the free throw line to block it over in the corner. Yeah, no one is safe when Matisse is on mm -hmm. the court. All right, we're going to take our first time out here on Sixers Post Game Live. We're going to hear from Doc Rivers coming up. But gee, it's a big win. You know what that means. That's right. Get your dance on. Sixers get the win. Clap your hands, everybody. Stop.